In the time when I was born Lived a man who sailed the sea And he told us of his life In the land of submarines Welcome to the Commissar Show, folks. I'm, as always, your host, Christoph Como. And today we're going to be playing a wonderful experience. Not just a game, but an experience. That is us, in that submarine there. This game is called Subculture. That's me, Captain Sausage Lips. I am, as you know, a renowned Rastafarian. That's why I wear this uh, toque all the time, to hide my incredibly luscious dreadlocks. And my lips and cheekbone look exactly like that. And uh, yeah, I also apparently have blue eyes. Fuck it, whatever. This is the introduction. That's the backstory to this. Um, a giant can of dog food landed on our house. And now we sail into the sun to find the Sea of Green. Welcome to Subculture. We're going to start a new game here. So this is us. Subculture is a very relaxing, therapeutic experience that I am glad to have you join me on. We're just going to dock here. That's the first thing it's asking you to do. Push Y to dock. Thanks for being here, folks. It's a very old game. Features a lot of pre-rendered cutscenes like these. Um, this is back in the day when pre-rendered cutscenes, uh, due to the minimal processing power of computers, it was, uh, these were the most optimal way to get a higher resolution and detail quality than actual gameplay itself. So, as you can see, the gameplay does not reflect what the game looks like in the cutscenes. Welcome to Tuka Reef, the cultural center of the Bohine. Come on in and enjoy the sights and sounds of our city. We are sure your visit will be a pleasant one. Approach activity is currently registering at an all-time low since the conflict behind. The seas have never been safer. Okay, I already kind of know what we're doing here. I don't have anything to trade. As we go along in this playthrough, you'll find that there are very striking similarities between this game and a game that came out very recently uh, known as... Um, um, sorry, I had a little bit of brain fart there. Uh, known as No Man's Sky. Uh, no Man's Sky is a game similar to this in which you explore uh, space not underwater in uh, a, su a spaceship and you go around collecting resources, um, harvesting them and trading them between different outposts and uh, and upgrading your ship. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like you're... You don't really accomplish anything in No Man's Sky. You kind of just peter from planet to planet, finding stuff and um, gathering resources and upgrading your ship. It's it's really kind of a lesson in entropy, and sadly that's why it doesn't really have that well of a reception. And um, if this game had came out today, I'm sure it would be much better received than that because. Um, even though this game has lots of flaws and definitely is not a complete game, um, there's two deleted playthroughs of this already, so um, it may seem to you that you're learning some very new things that I'm saying right now, but I've already said this shit twice. <laughs> um, and I've lost my track of thought. Um, Beluga Basin, let's go there. Oh, here we go. Cheetos. Sorry, uh, this may be a very incomplete game, but at the end of the day, it still has a beginning, middle, and end. There's a, a story that goes on with your character, in that you lost your home and now you're a underwater sea monkey hobo, going around in your submarine because that's all you have left. Um, so I just I just broke up that Cheeto there and I just gathered the Cheeto dust. So that's uh, a Billy Paul Thorium. It's our primary uh, resource. It gets bought and sold and traded between many of the towns in this place. Let's go collect that clam as well. Moving in, Mr. Clam. I want that pearl. What? Yes, I got it. Right on the money. Alright, so we got a clam. 
We're gonna go to the refinery. Uh, I kind of remember where it is because I was literally just there in, in the deleted playthrough. Uh, and we're going to go refine our Thorpe that we just bought. And we're going to sell that pearl. I don't think they'll buy the pearl for a very high price, but I might be able to sell it somewhere else. Uh, maybe here at Valcova Station. Let's park there and find out. Um, and so there's two reasons why that's a deleted playthrough. One of them being is that I captured the aspect ratio of this game all wrong. So <laughs> half the screen was all chopped off. So uh, although you got most of the information, it did look pretty retarded. Um, so, welcome to Valkova Station, the Procha homeland and governmental home of the Procha. Valkova accepts no responsibility, liability, or other legal form of recourse to users or to the property of said users for theft or damage arising from the use of this facility for recreational, functional, or trade uses. No warranty for personal safety is given. By docking, you hereby irrevocably agree to these terms and conditions for you, your current, and all future visits. Have a nice day. Wow, what a bunch of fucking pricks. I think that's what Procha stands for, Prixa. So uh, I should have taken this quest earlier. Basically, it just says that they want you to collect thorium for them, which I got already. So they will buy this pearl for quite a bit of money. So let's sell that to them, and there we go. Now we have two, two thousand four hundred credits done, and we're gonna use those credits to buy a grappling hook, which they don't sell here. So let's fuck off. So um. Uh, I might be treading over uh, the same ground in my little conversation here that we're having. And uh, as I said earlier, that's because I was a retard and, um, and deleted the previous playthrough. Um, not only because uh, I captured the aspect ratio all wrong, but also because I didn't save the game. And the reason I didn't save the game was because I didn't know how to save the game. Because the game didn't tell me how to save the game. And <laughs> the way you save the game is you have to dock at one of these cities. You can't dock at the refinery, which is where we're just about to head to. You have to dock at one of the other cities. Oh, there's a pirate there. I know he's a pirate because I killed him <laughs> quite recently. Where are you going? I'm gonna kill you, bitch! You and your lemon-ass fucking ship. Um, once again, I got distracted. What were we talking about again? I wish I had someone here to bounce off of oh well um current mission prospect thorium metal so basically these are these guys here the refinery brothers uh they're kind of like the abductus mechanicus you can kind of tell from the tone of the music here and also i'll read this welcome to the refinery the brothers will be with you shortly the brothers anticipate your production and processing needs trading is life the order is righteous and good so they're kind of like the order mechanicus so we're going to buy the grappling hook because we need that shit and we're gonna go to our hold where we're going to sell them thorium. Sell, 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 sell. Now we'll, and we're gonna buy and refine thorium, which we can sell at higher price at the other towns. We're gonna launch again. And it, you change weapons here up in the top right hand corner by pushing the square bracket buttons. And uh, <laughs> I had a miserable nightmare the very first time I played this, not in the deleted playthroughs, obviously, but um, I had a miserable time playing this game. Oh, there we go. We have grabbed the tobacco. Bring it to the station for harvesting. I had a miserable time playing this in my first playthrough because I had absolutely no idea how to change uh, your gear like I had just done there with the square bracket buttons. Because if you go... Here, I'll show you briefly. If you go into this control screen, keyboard, mouse, joypad, blah, 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 whatever, you go into the configuration screen, guess what? It's not there. So how would you ever fucking know? Well... <laughs> by hitting every single fucking button on the keyboard. That's how you'd find out. So that's what I did. Um, before I did that, I went to YouTube to figure out if there were uh, any Let's Plays of this game with um, commentary. And unfortunately, I didn't find any. I found one that was a kind of a playthrough of this game. And uh, I sent a personal message. I found the guy on Facebook and I sent him a personal message asking, hey, you know, you played Subculture. Uh, how the fuck do I change my thing? And he said it had been so long since he had played it that he didn't know. So, <laughs> um, I, I found it out eventually. So, you know, uh, problem solved. Uh, we're going to sell the tobacco here. These guys love their tobacco. They buy it for a shitload. We're going to buy two more refined thorium with that. So now we have five. And also, hold on, we're going to replace our grappling hook with the succomatic. 
I'm still to date not sure how the equipment system in this game works. I kind of just know a few things like certain items can only be in certain positions of your sub. So like the grappling hook and the vacuum cleaner can only be on the bottom part. So that kind of makes sense, I, I guess. Um, but at the same time, it is a bit irritating as well. You, you kind of want to be able to gather as much as possible. But uh, on the same thought, this game is not really about getting to the end. Although there is an ending, and there is kind of a story between the Bohine and the Procha that revolves around your personal story of being a, an underwater hobo. Um, it really is just, you know, whoa. About the experience, because this game is alive outside you, as you just experienced there. A fish, a fish flew, swam a little bit too close to um, this um, Brocha city and got exploded into tiny little bits. And uh, I've just completed the quest, what does my unread mail say? Spade of kidnappings. The past few weeks have seen an escalation in espionage from the Bohine. It has become apparent that key science and military personnel are being targeted by kidnapped by the Bohine. These patriotic victims are later subjected to atrocities at the Bohine prison camp Aquatraz. Yeah. <laughs> A select committee has been formed by the Emperor himself in an attempt to instigate countermeasures. Security is tight and details are unforthcoming. At a press conference yesterday, rumors were rife about the possibility of a security leak, perhaps even from the heart of Valkova City Hall. The Imperial Consul declined to comment until after the Counterintelligence Committee had published a report. He added, if there is a rotten anchovy at the heart of City Hall, measures will be swift and unforgiving. That's great. So we're gonna sell our thorium, and Unfortunately, we didn't really get that huge of a profit out of it, but whatever. We'll, we'll, fuck you. Fuck you, too. Uh, do, 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 um, I don't know what half this shit does, so let's not worry about it right now. Um, shield strength, 98. Okay, let's. we don't need a shield repair right now, so that's okay. Let's just go and uh, chill for a bit longer. Why not? Today, I saw a couple of movie trailers. Um... I saw the trailer for John Wick 2, which I'm pretty excited for. I really liked the first John Wick. Um, it was a very unique in the way it delivered its storyline. It was an action movie with a kind of a comedy premise. And uh, the premise is really what made the movie so unique. So oh, we're having a little bit of a fish duel here. But let's watch. Let's see what's going on with these fishies. Let's see who wins. So, um, I, I saw the trailer, and um, it didn't really seem to say a whole lot about the plot of John Wick. Um, he's in Rome, and there's Lawrence Fishburne, and there's gangsters again, I guess. But after really the kind of weird, nonsensical plot the first John Wick had, um, how could they really kind of go from there? I mean, the first one barely even had a plot. So, um, you know, I'll probably see it because it's been, you know, the, one of the, the beautiful things about the first John Wick is that it had Keanu Reeves in it and we hadn't seen him in a movie for a very long, long time. And, um, it was refreshing to see him again. So I, I'm going to go see this movie. I'm going to try and support it so that he, he kind of can continue his career. And, uh, you know, it's the same as what's going on here. By watching me, you're helping me make videos and you're helping me kind of do what I love. And hopefully you love watching this and listening to this as well. Um, these fish are just shooting lightning at each other because apparently that's something that fish do. Um, alright, hold on. Okay. The epic battle is kind of boring. Let's leave. Um, there's a cigarette butt down there and some thorium. Let's mine the thorium and I think we'll, um, we'll say goodnight to you folks for the time being. Uh, uh, uh. And let's go into third person mode because it is horribly hard to. Oops, I just turned my flashlight on. There we go. To mine stuff because unfortunately, although the first person mode is where the immersion is, you can't see shit. Although there is a there is an underwater camera that I was trying to use earlier that points to the bottom of your sub. Here we go which you can use to kind of harvest things. 
But it is way too difficult, so we're just gonna kinda do it like this. Come on. Come here. Come here, you Cheeto. Got it. And you know, isn't the atmosphere isn't the atmosphere just totally perfect? I mean, look at look at we we feel like we're underwater, there's bubbles, there's uh the lack of view distance kind of um helps the game out a little in that, you know, you're you're not really supposed to be able to see that far underwater. And um I don't think you've noticed, but I kind of noticed because I have a little bit of a, <laughs> a couple of repeat episodes. Is that um, this game has a, an internal clock? It it gets darker as you play on, and it'll get lighter again. Um, so it's if you skip back to the beginning of the video, you'll notice that it that the water around my ship is brighter than it is right now. Oops! Oh, fuck. No, 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 I pushed escape too many times. So that, you know, kind of helps the immersion of this experience, which is kind of ironic that, you know, the, the game that's 20 years old has more immersion than a game like No Man's Sky, where you just go around naming hideous, pre, uh, procedurally generated creatures, uh, different names for penises. Goods. Buy my thorium. Okay, great. Um, I kind of got lost. Sorry, and then we were gonna end the episode as well. But uh, if you're still watching, thank you. You know, um, we're gonna avoid this fucking disaster of mines everywhere. I think I mentioned earlier that uh, the game doesn't really tell you how to save, but seeing as how I have that information now at my disposal, we're going to go to Valkova Station, and hopefully it'll allow us to save there. The game auto-saves at the beginning and end of every mission that you do, missions that forward the story, um, but you know, if you don't feel like doing the story, if you just feel like having a good time and you know relaxing, there you go, there's a save button on the right-hand side. So, let's save it over the previous, uh, underneath the previous one. We'll leave that one as it is. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. And, um, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you help support the show. And have a great night. In what sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? A. Swimming. B. Show jumping. Or C. Skiing. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you put show jumping? I don't think it's skiing. No, you would know. You would know. <laughs> yeah, you'd think. Swimming, it doesn't really have a ring, ring for me like Fanny Schmeller. So um, I just thought it goes with show jumping. Straight down the court in the morning. If that was my name, I'd have, I'd have that change straight away. Right. Chaser has put 
Come on, be wrong. Oh, you also put Joe Tuppy. I assumed it couldn't be skiing because uh, Bryn was taking some time to answer and I figured that uh, if it was actually skiing, he would know it. Yeah, absolutely. However... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Come on. Forget Fanny. Let's go. <laughs> Two from home.